Hi everyone, Matt Hayward with Adobe Stock here. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about one of the most important aspects of submitting your stock content, keywords. You can have the best photo ever taken in the history of photography added to your portfolio without good, effective keywords that accurately describe what's in your image. Customers aren't going to be able to find it, and ultimately they won't be able to buy it. So this is critical. There's a few general philosophies when it comes to keywording, but the basic gist of it is this. You want to think like a buyer. If you were working on a project and needed to find your image, what words would you use to search for it? When you figure that out, those are the words that you want to add as your keywords. So Adobe Stock has created an awesome tool to help get you started on the path to success. The auto keyword tool is working really, really well. And so I'm going to show you how that works. I'm just going to drag an image into the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. This photo has no keywords embedded in the metadata. That's important because a lot of people like to add their keywords before they upload to Adobe Stock, and that's okay, but the auto keyword function won't work if it already has keywords in the image. So keep that in mind. This one didn't, so it was a blank slate. And so it's a portrait of a young, strong African American man. He's shirtless. And so let's see what we got with the auto keyword tool. We got 25 keywords, which is quite a few. And we got body, muscular, fitness, we got muscle, we got shirtless, portrait, athlete, muscles, handsome, torso, guy, naked. Yeah, he's not naked. So I'm going to go ahead and click the X icon to remove that keyword. Young, strong, men. Yeah, it's not a portrait of men. It's a portrait of a man. So I'm going to change it to the singular version from the plural. Bodybuilder, chest, athletic, beauty, isolated, fit, ab, sport, boy. It's not a boy, it's a man. So I'm just going to remove that one and model. So we got 23 keywords. That's pretty good. I'm going to add a few more. Since this is a portrait, I think that race is important. So I'm going to go ahead and put African American man, black man. His hairstyle is very unique. And so I think that's worth mentioning. And we're going to use the word unique. And we'll say braided hair and braids. Now, I added keywords all in one box separated with a comma. Then I selected the tab key and that distributed the keywords into their own individual box. You don't have to do that. You can hit tab in between each keyword and move from box to box. It's six in one, half dozen in the other. It doesn't make any difference. It's a matter of personal preference. So we've got the keywords. I've got 29 of them. That's quite a few, but it's pretty good, accurate, I think, good keywords. You can add a maximum of 50, five zero keywords, and a minimum of five. The sweet spot's between 15 and 30. You just want to make sure that each keyword is relevant to the image. So, at 29 keywords, I'm happy with them. If you get one thing out of this tutorial, it should be this. The Adobe Stock Search Engine puts the biggest emphasis on the first seven keywords. What that means is the first seven keywords have the most weight in the search results. And so you need to put the most important, most relevant keywords in those first seven. This is so important, so make a note of it. Okay, so with this one, I think uh, the word man is the most important keyword. So I'm going to go ahead and click this up arrow to the right of the word man. And that moved that keyword into the number one spot. So now I think shirtless is very relevant. So I'm just going to click to the left of the word shirtless, drag it to the number two spot. Body, muscular, those are good relevant keywords. I think we could say athlete is good for number five. Um, strong will be good for number six. And I think that the fact that it's a portrait is important. So there we go. So those are our first seven keywords. They're the most important. Now what else we need to confirm is the category. So Adobe Stock also recognizes what's in the image, recommends and selects a category for you automatically. And it does a very good job. In this case, we got the category people, which is perfect. If for some reason you're not happy with the category the system selects, you can just click that drop down menu and there's all the other categories. Pick whichever one uh, works best for you. Okay. And then we need to change the title. The keyword photographer was embedded in my metadata. So I'm going to change this to handsome African American shirtless man. There we go. Hit the tab key. And that's it. So we've got keywords, title, and category all selected. Now I'm going to show you how to embed those keywords in the metadata using Lightroom if you prefer to do that and you don't want to use the auto keyword tool. So let's go to Lightroom. Here we are. So let's take this image right here and it's a bowl of fruit. We got uh, blueberries and raspberries in yogurt. And so the keyword box in Lightroom, I'm just going to hit bowl, fruit, raspberries, not Blue Friday, blueberries. There we go. We'll say berries. 
Um, yogurt obviously is important. Food, breakfast, snack, meal, healthy, diet, uh, nutrition, spoon. Uh, let's see. Did I put you know, let's put eating? And there we go. That's pretty good. So uh, I'm going to hit the tab key. Now those keywords are embedded in the metadata of that file. And so I'm going to go ahead and upload into the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal using the Publish tool. And what's going to happen is the system, instead of generating auto keywords, it's going to read and recognize the keywords that we just added. But there's a catch. So like I said, the search engine puts the biggest emphasis on the first seven keywords. When you add your keywords in Lightroom, you need to remember that Lightroom automatically alphabetizes your keywords. And so unless you get this total freak of a coincidence and all of your most important keywords happen to be in alphabetical order, which isn't very likely, you're probably going to want to reshuffle them. So here we go. We see all the keywords that we um, added. They're in alphabetical order. The word food was capitalized for some reason. And so that was the number one spot, but uh, just pretend like that didn't happen. So berries, blueberries, and so on and so forth. So I think that uh, yogurt is the most important keyword here. I think that berries is important. I think fruit is also pretty important. So we'll just drag that one right up here. Put yogurt back in the number one spot. Uh, let's say oh, raspberries are important. Food should stay up there in the top seven. Blueberries can be number six and breakfast should be number seven. So there you go. So the keywords are in order. I've got 15 of them. That's a pretty good number. Um, the category is people. I'm not crazy about that. I'm going to switch it to food and then we will say bowl of fresh berries and yogurt for breakfast. There we go. So the image is indexed. It's ready to have releases attached if necessary and get submitted. We'll go over that in the next video. My name is Matt Hayward. I'm with Adobe Stock and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.